What if I told you that this keyboard would ultimately ruin your life? Would you believe me? If I said that if you press this one key too fast, that an entire anti-cheat system would falsely flag your computer and ban you for life, that your livelihood would come crashing down and it wasn't even your fault, but maybe the ego of someone else's. This is the story of Shiko. 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 This guy right here is hands down the best R6 player of all time. I wrecked him, he cried, he cut it and I got it. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Stefan Shaiko Lebla was born on December 15th, 1998. Shaiko would grow up in France in the early 2000s and would fall in love with video games at an early age. But everything would change when he would pick up Rainbow Six Siege and he would quickly fall in love with the game. Shaiko would start playing the game competitively in 2017 with his first team, ERA Esports. Through them, he would then go on to advance, start playing with a better team known as B Genius. Him and his team would go on to win the Summer Qualifier to qualify for Challenger League. Back when Challenger League was still a thing and teams could get promoted into Pro League. Basically, if you won Challenger League, you would get promoted. And that's exactly what what B Genius did. Par la grande salle, Shaiko, encore une fois, mon fils, il fait tomber un corps et très low HP, et Boli, tout seul, pour un clutch 1v5, impossible! But there is always suspicion with Shaiko. In the top ranks of Siege, there is a rumor going around that he was a cheater, simply because some people can't comprehend when someone is actually just better than them. More on this later, but just keep it in the back of your mind. But what was clear was just how gifted Shaiko really was. He was different. Friendly, operator standing. Main stairs in blue. A bomb has been located by Op 4. One Op 4 remaining. Blue is clear, blue is clear. There is AK right now, AK. Good job. Friendly is victorious. Hot oh. eliminated. <laughs> Terrible. They've got dive. I'm ready. There's one default hotel. Like, like, He's uh, on B-bomb. I can need him. I can need him. One dead. Good shit. Oh la, oh la. After qualifying for Pro League Year 2 Season 3, Shaiko could finally prove to everyone that he was in fact the real deal and one of the greatest mechanical players of all time. But all of that work would come crumbling down. On October 11th, 2017, Shaiko was banned from all ESL events for two years after an investigation was found that he had used macros in a Pro League match versus Penta Esports. But what actually actually happened. Had Shaiko really been cheating, or was it just a fluke? During a match against Penta, which at the time was the best team in the world, and arguably of all time, was playing Shaiko and B Genius, when Pengu and Penta would protest to ESL, saying that Shaiko had more information that was humanly possible, and wanted to check if he was cheating. No one could really point to what it was. The story was that he had more information than you humanly possibly could, so that would be refer to what we call wall hacks or some sort of way to gain information that you shouldn't otherwise have as a, as a normal human being. What they found was shocking. It was nothing. They didn't find anything proving that Shaiko had been cheating using something like wall hacks or aimbot, but they did find something else. Something that would change Shaiko's life forever. And that was an alleged macro. If you don't know what a macro is, basically the main reason to use a macro in Siege is to control recoil. And so what the macro would 
would do. It would completely eliminate recoil from your weapon, making it the easiest weapon to control, giving you an unfair advantage, especially in a game like Siege with no aim assist. But the thing is, they didn't find anything at all. What they did find was that Shiko was pressing his four key an inhuman amount, which Shiko's four key was binded to his main gadget button. And Shiko would play a ton of Habana, so Moss, ESL's anti-cheat, had detected his four key being pressed an inhuman amount of times during the match. And the main person behind this protest was Pengu. At the time, Pengu was one of the greatest players in the world, leading Penta to multiple world championships. And if Pengu had said something, then it was most likely to be true. So Pengu claimed that Shiko had more info that was humanly possible, but which one is it? Because that's not why Shiko had been banned. Shiko had been banned for an alleged use of a macro, but didn't you say the reason his computer was being checked was because he had more info that was humanly possible? If a false ban has ever happened in the history of esports, then this was it. But think of it like this. If you were in Pengu's shoes, would you have done the same thing? If you saw an upcoming prodigy and thought that he was cheating, wouldn't you try and make sure that he got banned? Because that's what it seemed like happened. You have to remember that at the time, Pengu was Siege's golden boy. He was one of the best players in the world at the time, and Siege is one of the hardest games of all time to get good at. Why wouldn't ESL trust what Pengu was saying? So not only did ESL get Shiko banned for two years, B Genius's whole entire roster got banned from Pro League. B Genius would respond with a 19 page report claiming that the anti cheat had screwed up and that Shiko's Moss report was similar to a lot of other players in the league. But ESL did not care and the disqualification had stayed. But Shiko did not quit. Knowing that he was only banned for two years, Shiko would stay with Siege. He had so much passion for the game that he simply did not want to give it up. He wanted to prove everybody wrong. After a year and a half, on April 24th, 2019, his ban was lifted early. Shiko had been unbanned early, and no one really knows as to why, but ESL lifted the ban. He still needed a team to compete in Pro League, and he was now a free agent. He ultimately got picked up by BDS. This is probably the greatest decision that BDS has ever made in the entire history of BDS. Shiko and BDS would then start training for DreamHack Montreal 2019, and Shiko would do something incredible. Are rolling right now, he is fighting everything. There is no fear in this. Oh man. my God! Oh, he's outside. You can't That's stop 24 this man right kills. Now. Oh. 24 That's kills! The record. Shiko would break the kill record on LAN in his very first game back to Pro League. But after this whole entire thing, what happened? Where are they now? Shiko since 2019 has been competing with BDS and now has won both Gamers 8 tournaments, won his first major at the 6 Yokimpeg Major 2022, and now just has won the most expensive Rainbow Six Siege tournament of all time with $2 million at the Esports World Cup in Saudi Arabia. But what about Pengu? Pengu went on to win multiple world championships and now casts for R6 Esports, winning Caster of the Year. So in the end, the story had a great ending, but it's crazy to look back on what happened and how poorly the situation was handled. And that is how one key on a keyboard almost ruined someone's entire legacy. Subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm out.